Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Well in this episode we're going to take a look at the soldering iron, the TS100. Now this soldering iron has been on the market for well over a year and it's probably the most popular soldering iron on the market. I finally have one. It's taken me this long and uh, I have one because my FPV drones and a few other drones I have, I have to do field repairs. This is a field repair soldering iron. Sure you can use it in the house but it's also great outdoors check this out. Let's open up the box and check out what comes inside. So the first thing we have is on top here would be your important safety instructions. Inside here you'll get your manual, your safety instructions, all that other good stuff. Now this here is a very smart soldering iron. This one is quite intelligent. Let me show you. The reason it's quite intelligent is because you have a nice little display here that's going to tell you the exact temperature of the tip. I'm just going to take off the plastic. So when you install the tip here and tighten it with this screw, uh, it has a little temperature control that keeps on checking the temperature of that tip. So you can set the temperature to like 400 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Celsius, whatever you want, and it will stay at that temperature. It also has the ability to turn off if you don't use it, and when you pick it up, it turns back on really fast. So let me show you this really quick. There's a close look at the tip for the soldering iron. Here we go. Install the tip as simple as this, and then tighten the screw right here. Now here's why this is a field soldering iron because if you look at, uh, well here's the soldering iron I use most times, this is an indoor soldering iron. We all probably have one of these, very inexpensive. The bad things about these things, they work on 120 volts and they have no temperature control so this thing just keeps getting power and you'd have no idea what temperature it's at so you can actually melt things or get soldering correct if you're lucky and other times not so correct. So with this, this is very smart. It will keep your soldering perfect the way you want it. This I cannot take with me to the field because I need a 120 volt input source. And this I can take it to the field because all I need is any LiPo battery to attach to the end and I'm fine. If you have a lot of LiPo batteries and you fly a lot of RC planes or FPV drones or race boats or race cars, you probably have little plugs like this. You just attach them onto a DC source power source and you'll have some end like that. This end actually goes in here. Now this cable is not included with this device. It's assumed that the person who is going to buy this device is already somebody who has LiPo batteries and all that other good stuff and you know is into the RC hobby. So that's what it's designed for. So normally you just attach this end to any DC source but in my case, I'm going to attach it to my little banana plugs right here. And the other end goes to my little XT60, which I will attach my LiPo battery to give power through here all the way to this. So the power is going through. This is not hot until I press this button here. So I'm going to do that now. And it's going to heat up really quick to, I think it defaults to 400 degrees Celsius, which is massively hot, but perfect for soldering. Okay, I lied, it heats up to 300 degrees Celsius. I would have to set it to go up to 400 degrees Celsius. It is programmable. So I'm gonna assume, just using simple logic, that I would hit this button to go higher. Let's just see. Hold that down. Yes, look at that. I'm cranking it up. And can I go higher than 400? No, 400's the max, there we go. So that's it. It's heating up right now, keep going. It's going to make it up to 400. There we go. Anytime it detects that the tip is going down from 400, it will send power to it and bring it back up to 400. So it's a constant temperature. There we go. I'm just going to solder the end, the tip of this here wire. And uh, yeah, we're all good. And now I can attach this wire to whatever I want. All right, that's my review of the TS100. This product's been on the market for over a year and it's a proven product. A lot of people use it. I'm finally just now using it. Great for what I'm going to be out in the field. So if you want a product like this, I'm going to put the links below in this video. Check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, by all means, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video.